Hey, this is DJ Slink, and I'm going to show you a little trick today. Um, as you can see, I've got the aim and break here. And what we're going to do is slice it up into 16 different slices and use an arpeggiator to randomize them for a really cool sort of jungly effect. Um, so what we're going to do is just right click here and go slice to new MIDI track and leave it on 1 over 8 because they're the eighth notes there, but there'll be 16 slices. So we've got 16 slices there. Um, now first thing you want to do is make sure it doesn't come out way too loud. So let's just set this at 100 and 100. Uh, just, just a velocity thing. And let's have a listen to that. Cool. Sounds just like that. Now for the fun bit. What we're going to do is create a new MIDI clip. That's shift, uh, Control Shift M or Command Shift M, and go in. And we want all the slices playing at once. So double click, double click, double click, double click. Like that, like that. All right, and drag them all the way out. Beautiful. Okay. And what we want to do is throw an arpeggiator before the velocity and have this set to 1 over 8 because each note is 1 eighth um, and we want the gate to be 100 um, so that'll make sure that the whole slice plays all the way through so it's nice and smooth even though it's random so let's have a listen to the random section here hopefully it sounds good Yep, it's just randomizing to the max, so that's pretty cool. Um, another thing you can do is, and what I found sounds good, is if you sort of have it alternate between the original arrangement and the randomizing section, it sounds pretty cool. But what you need to make sure uh, that happens is the arpeggiator is not on during the part where you're playing it just normally like this and only the arpeggiator is on when this section is on. So just turn the arpeggiator off and use a draw mode to, to automate that. And we can just throw in little chunks of randomness in the middle of the aim and break. Let's have a listen. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like an idiot now. I've completely forgot to set this to random. We need the style to be random, not up. Because if it's up, it'll just play from the, the lowest note to the top note in order. So, <laughs> got to set that to random first. Let's check it out now. Oh yeah, it's sounding good. That's sounding good. And of course, you can do your own little arrangement with, you know, different sections of randomness over here maybe. Maybe you have this like, I don't know, like this, and then we got another section there. Um, but yeah, just make sure you've got this arpeggiator off if you want to play it normally. Let's check that out. Well, that's a crazy pause. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> Pretty cool though. Um, what you can do as well to get some real like chunky stuff happening out of it is just throw an OTT on the on the end of it and just maybe turn it turn it back a bit. See how that sounds. Whoa. And there you have it. I, I'm not even sure how that's doing that random pause there, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, oh, actually, what it probably is is, yeah, it's not starting at the front. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So there you have it random aim and break chops for days and you can do this with any other break you can use like 
other drum and bass breaks. You can do it at a, you can do it at a like a 110 speed. Um, and what's really fun is if you if you set the groove to swing and have a have a lower gate, you can get like this swingy kind of chopped up, glitchy sort of feel. You could um, even just fill a drum rack with random noises and have all those noises playing at once like this um, and have the arpeggiator randomize it. The possibilities are endless, so this is just one thing that I used for one of my tracks. Pretty fun. Alright, peace out guys. Hope you liked it.